Jesse Bingham. If you would please come forward, state your name and address for the record. Uh, Jesse Bingham, and I live at 2563 Nathan's Lane, Valdosta, 31601. Uh, it's kind of a timeline I'd like to lay out on our, uh, on our home that we built back in 18. Uh, we came up from West Palm Beach, Florida, and uh, we researched a lot of different areas, and we finally picked the uh, Louisville One subdivision and, uh, to build our new home in, and uh, it did have a restricted covenants, uh, which we were aware of, and uh, we uh, accepted that covenants, and uh, we started to build our house and, and uh, uh, September of 18. And then uh, Thanksgiving, we found out that uh, there was going to be a builder come in there called uh, Wade Journey that builds uh, affordable housing to build homes. And uh, we weren't happy about that. And, but we didn't know what they were going to build until after we had built, closed, and moved into our house. And uh, they actually amended the covenants to build these homes. They changed the roof pitch. They changed the square footage of the homes. So, uh, and then after we moved in, they built uh, 27 homes in there that are uh, affordable housing. Uh, 24 of them are two-story homes and to top it off now 10 of them are rentals and all these homes are completely surround our home uh, and that's really bothered us and when we moved in uh, we were supposed to have a homeowners association established when the last home was uh, sold uh, well Tom Call was in charge of it when we went in there. And then he backed out of it and left it with Larry Dean. Uh, after Wade Journey pulled out, Larry Dean built 12 homes. And uh, then he pulled out. So we still didn't have a homeowners association. And then a company called Chris Mill Homes came in there to finish it off. And I approached Chris Mill Homes at the time about our homeowners association, and they just shot me right down. Just uh, we don't have the funds for it. Uh, we're just there to build houses in the story, and uh, so our covenants is written that an association should be established when the last home is built and sold, and the last home is built and sold. So I called. Uh, I went online and looked up the uh, Chris Mill uh, on the on the county website, the owner of the of the last house, which was CMH Developments, and it has the address of North Valdosta Road. I called that. I looked that up, and that's Chris Mill <coughs> Homes. They said we don't have anything to do with that. We're not we're not Chris Mill Developments. <coughs> so. I'm still at a loss. Are we going to have a homeowners association? Uh, one of the things I keep asking is, like uh, the entranceway, uh, who's going to maintain the entranceway? Somebody's paying lawn maintenance on it to maintain it, but apparently that's going to stop someday. Uh, I, li I just like some answers. And then uh, I have another situation that's kind of bothered me. I put up a pole barn in my backyard and I was required to pull a, a variance that cost me almost $500 for my variance. And I've been over in another neighborhood, the next development, and there's a home over there that's got a gigantic pole barn and they're doing some kind of a business out of that yard with heavy equipment. And to this day, I can't find any county record of permits and I keep asking uh, uh, the building permit people about that and I can't get any answers to why that 
uh, business is going on out of a residential home. Watch this, if you'll hang around, I'll be water back to talk for you a minute. 